what's that noise? What, what is that? Something wrong with the car? What's going on here? Wow, what is that noise? Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the printing press cranking out yen in, in Japan. Man, I thought something was wrong with the car. I, I can hear those printing presses all the way over here in the United States. Japan with, with stimulus package number 17, in my best estimate. Please correct me if I'm wrong. You know, stimulus packages have worked so well since the early 90s in Japan that uh, they require another one. <laughs> I mean, basically, it's just like, hey, guys, don't leave us out. I mean, we're always game to come to the printing press party. And after recent announcements by the Federal Reserve and the ECB, Japan says we're in another 10 trillion yen. Announced yesterday, it's about 126 billion dollars, U.S. dollars, and so they're on board. And the uh, finance minister is happy. He says very much welcomed that the Bank of Japan is going to crank out another 10 trillion yen. Now, let me make something clear here. I understand there's not physical papers being printed out. I keep getting comments that. You know, all this is digital money and computer systems. I understand that. Just use the printing of money and printing presses. It's all metaphors of what's going on. That used to be the way it was done, but that's just metaphors. So anyway, link will be below, and I'll have that at Moneybags World. You can check that out. This is uh, this is a race to the bottom, everybody. You know, this, I, gold and silver ownership, in my opinion, can't be more clear. Um, with with this race to the bottom of paper currencies. I mean, it, at this point, it's gotten so obvious, so blatantly obvious to own, you know, real money for thousands of years as these paper monies are just being debased. Um, You've got to have some gold and silver. So on the Bank of Japan's announcement, silver was up in Japan 2.9%. Stock market was up as expected. And... I mean, you have, Japan will say, just like, I mean, this isn't something just Japan. I'm, I'm not just trying to knock Japan. This is happening around the world. You'll have your, the economy, you know, in, in a slump, and then you'll, you'll have the government or the central bank say, well, in order to stimulate the economy, you know, we're going to devalue our currency. But we need this. I mean, this is good for exports. I mean, don't you all want good exports? Little people of the country? I mean, you want the exports to be up, right? You want the economy to turn around. Well, what this does to the average Joe is is the money in his pocket won't buy him as much. So at the expense of the average Joe's purchasing power, we're going to boost our, our exports. That's what's continuing to be done. You have to have some real money and storage to protect you and protect your purchasing power. So that's it. I don't want to continue on repeating myself from past videos.